card that was sent you. It's called an RS-485-232 card. Uh, it's got two slots in the back for phone line, like this. Doesn't matter which one you plug it into, just plugs in. Alright, first thing we need to do is we need to take this case apart. There are two screws on the bottom. The outside screws are the ones you take out. These two screws are only for mounting. They're not attached to anything. They're just screwed into the box. So that's for mounting onto a, a plate or something like that. First thing you do is you take the screws out. The two halves separate. And what you'll have is normally you just take the top right off. And just set it aside. And now you've got the bottom with the back panel. The meter this is the meter that I, that the manual that I sent you, this is the meter that it belongs to. Okay? You look at the back of it, connected to the back panel, you have four connectors. Let me see the best way to see this. The green connector is your power connector. Go ahead and remove that. The, this connector is the one that goes to the front panel goes to your front switch here and it goes right below the power connection you have two connections here these are your transducer connectors and what you'll have if you look at the top of the meter this is the top now how I tell that is by the looking at the front this is the top the red and black go to the top green and white go to the bottom on this side now, you can remove the back panel and just set it aside. Okay, this is, this is number two. What you're going to need to do is remove this plastic piece on the back. It just pops out. You can use a screwdriver to assist you. I take it in here and just popping that out. Of course, I'm going to have a hard time with it because I'm doing a video. If I wasn't doing a video, it would just popped out. Okay, this piece just popped right off like that. Okay, now if you'll notice, you set that aside. Now, you notice inside your, your meter, this will all just slide out if you wanted it to. This is the actual meter itself. But just leave it in, in, in the case. If you want to, you can slide it out like this so you can see better. Your 485 card that we sent you goes right here. And the way you can do, tell that is these two pieces are to this side. This being the top, these go to the starboard side of the right side. This is your connector. And it just fits right into that connector. You just slide it on the pins. Like that. Now you've got your RS-485 card installed. Like that. Now we have to cut this piece out. You'll want to cut these two out to fit over this. Alright, now we're going to reinstall the back panel Put the two bottoms in first. This you have to make sure all the little cards are lined up because they do have a tendency to um, to move move around on you when you're putting this in. Put the two tabs in at the bottom. Line up your 485 card first, and it should fit right in there like that. Now you just take a screwdriver and just kind of push these around until they go into place. snap that cover on and that's that now this is the cable from the front front switch so you'll want to plug this just below the green connection the green connection is your power connection okay now what we'll want to do is we want to cut a small slot on the bottom of your back panel for this 
for your 485 cable to go through. It's a flat cable, so it makes it relatively easy. Take the bottom of your panel, just look at the words, you can do it at the top, it doesn't really matter, but we usually put it right in here in this area. And I'll take a large file or a knife, doesn't matter, and cut a slot into this. I've cut a small slot in the back panel. Like I said, you can use either a knife or you can use a large file. Doesn't matter how you do it, just get it put in. You can plug the Ethernet cable into either connection, top or bottom. Doesn't matter. Okay? Take your bottom. The way you tell the bottom is it's got the handle on it. Usually I pop this handle down like that. Put the front panel in, bottom down, slides into little slots and just fits right in the front. Alrighty. Make sure my wires are all out of the way here. The back panel, red and black from your sensor line, from your transducer, from right here. The red and black go to the top. Green and white go to the bottom. Power cord is green. This is your power. And it goes into the green plug. Right there. Green to green. So now we're all connected back up. All the wires are connected. Relatively simple. Back of the case. Make sure your cable is coming out the bottom. Make sure no wires are being crimped on the inside. And then I'll tuck all my wires in like this. I don't want to catch any with the screws or put the case together. Your top has a groove on one side and a ridge on the other. They line up with a, with a ridge here and a groove here. Just keeps them lined up so that they, you don't get them backwards. Slide the top together. Now insert your two screws in the bottom. I always check, I always open it up just a little bit to make sure there's no wires. See these wires are close. I'm going to push them out of the way a little bit. You just don't want any crimped wires or the screw going through any wires, otherwise it won't function properly. Just open the other side up, make sure there's no wires being crimped. Finish screwing the case together. And now you have an RS-485 meter. Now the RS-485 cable will connect into your 485 converter. Simply plug it into here. The cable that came with it goes to your computer and goes into here. So that's what you've got there. So it comes out of your meter, goes into the 485 converter, comes out of the converter and goes to your computer. And don't forget the power cord. This has to have power. You must plug the power cord in right here. It's a little... And then plug this into the wall. And you are ready to roll.